Hey everybody, this is about to be a really fun video. I finally got my hands on a 17 HMR. You guys have been requesting it for a long, long time. I finally made the phone call to Heavy Metal, said, hey, look me up some prices on some 17 HMRs. And wouldn't you know, about a week later, somebody traded one in. So we got a really nice used one. I haven't looked this one up yet, but I wouldn't say it's extremely old, but it's, it's an older model, which, I am actually glad to have you guys know just as well as I do on the newer guns they don't put good wood on the stocks unless you want to pay about a thousand dollars for a rifle I don't want to pay a thousand dollars for a rifle so I was super super excited when I picked this up to see how awesome this rifle is this is a Marlin model 17 V some of you guys might know what that is but I'm gonna give you a close-up look here in a second, but this rifle came with a BSA Sweet 17 scope on it. Those of you familiar with the 17 HMR might know what that is. Really nice scope, but the front of the scope was touching the barrel and I couldn't adjust it to make it work. So for the time being, I took that scope off, put on this Pinty scope that I had laying around. It actually works perfect, nothing's touching, but we're gonna sight this in real quick. Ammo I've got here today for us to shoot is some of this Norma 17 HMR 17 grain V Max polymer tip stuff. This is supposed to be some really good ammo. And we're going to sight this in so we can film a whole lot more videos and hit what we're aiming at. Let me give you a quick closer look at the rifle, real quick. It's a Marlin 17 V. Sweet, sweet, sweet looking rifle you can see there on the wood that's good quality wood it's got a little bit of surface rust pitting on the barrel but we're gonna be able to take that off real easy let's go set this gun vise up out on the range see if we can get this baby sighted in real quick so we can shoot it a whole lot more to tell you the truth I honestly don't know much about the 17 HMR like I said I have never had one and just bought one. Mag drops out like you typically think. It looks like it might hold five, six, or seven, but like I said, I don't know a whole lot about it. I've never shot a 17 HMR, and I didn't even give a Marlin 17 via Google yet, but let's load it up and see how many it holds. These suckers are pretty small. This might even be a 10 round magazine. I guess I should count them. There's three four five six hmm seven it's a seven round magazine at least they came with this one so let's uh Get the target set up down range and see where this first shot hits. Hopefully it'll be pretty close. All right, my first time ever shooting 17 HMR. We got seven rounds loaded up. This is where we hope that it at least hits the paper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold bullseye for all of these shots, see where we hit. Looks like it's a hair low and to the right, I don't know, four or five inches. So let's go left a bit. 10 clicks, I actually counted them that time. See how far that moved it here. Not much, so we need a lot more clicks. Let's do like 20. I'm also gonna go five clicks up. And let's see where this third one hits.
Hmm. It came left, but it didn't come up much, did it? Actually, at all. So, let's go 12 more clicks to the left. And let's do some more up here. I think I turned that up and down the wrong way the last time, y'all. I'm gonna go 10 up this time. Almost without fail, I always screw something up. So this one ought to come left and up on us. If I did it right, that's not a guarantee either. I'm a whole dead center here. That one was a lot better. I'm gonna come one click up. And let's go three clicks left. Actually, I'm gonna do one more click up. Three clicks left. See where this one hits. That one hit close to the same hole. Let me look at it again. Yep. Still need to come up and to the left. Let's take another shot. That one hit a little up. We got one shot left out of this first seven. Go left. Just a hair. And down just a hair. Take this last shot of this and see where it hits. Well, I guess it would help if I closed the bolt, wouldn't it? I'm thinking, man, this trigger got heavy all of a sudden. I'm gonna click it down twice. Load one more round, and that should be calling it a day. If this were a 308 or a 30 out six, I'd have already called it a day. But hey, it's a 17 HMR. It has literally no recoil, and is more of a little precision varmint round. So let's shoot one more and see what happens here. If I can load it. What in the devil? There we go. Load, shoot this last round here. That one, it came down, but it's direct left. We gotta load another one. Y'all can blame that one on my table. But my adjustment was good from the previous shots, but I must have pulled it left just a hair. So this is gonna be the last shot, and then we're gonna call it a day. Come on, baby. That 
that one hit in the same hole but just a hair above the X. We are gonna call that sided in. Yeah, buddy. We take y'all down real quick just to look at the target and look at what we did walking it in there. Shot more times than I wanted to. Typically I like to do just three or four shots to get bullseye, but let's look at this target. First shot, we hit here, then here, then here, then we hit here a couple times, hit here twice, hit over here, and then the last shot hit just a smidge dead center above that X. Pretty, pretty good there. You see we danced around the X there quite a bit for a few shots. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Let me know what you think about the 17 HMR. Do you have any experience with it? What do you guys think about it? That Norma ammo shot good. Like I said, this is the first time I ever shot 17 HMR. There is literally almost no recoil, and those bullets are supposed to be zinging it real fast. But pretty fun shooting that no recoil rifle out of this Marlin 17V. Stay tuned for a whole lot more videos on this rifle. Comment down below things you'd like to see us shoot with this rifle. We're going to have a whole lot of fun with it. But a big shout out to my friends at the Heavy Metal channel. Everybody go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Check out all the links in the description down below. We came out with some merch, some t-shirts a little while back. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for t-shirts. But we'll see you on the next video. Hootie Hoo!